Hello. Hello. Good Welcome morning. Welcome to a uh, wonderful Wednesday morning on uh, on this morning. Right. Okay. What is that? Do you reckon? What do you think? It says, uh, hold it six inches away from your face at all times to avoid injury. Oh, okay. That's about six inches. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, but someone's being very rude. <laughs> Ignore that. Right, go on. What's That's the next instruction? That's not the instruction. The instruction is to shake vigorously. Uh. It's not. It says it's not motorised. This is a mechanical device that you move back and forth with your own muscle power. Which is what I'm doing. Right. So you lock your wrists, which is what you're doing. Move it slowly back and forth on an even plane, three inches in e each direction. OK. <laughs> Hold with both hands, elbows close to the body. Oh, that's where I'm going wrong. And tighten the muscles in your upper body. The faster okay. you move it, the more intense the workout will become. You said workout. Ah. Uh, uh, you see, you're it, this, is it. A, this is a new... Uh, this is a new... Look, there's your instructions. There. That's it there. And, uh, and you can see that, uh, that they're, they're using... This is the... This is the, the now everyone's using these, apparently. And, uh, and it, it tones you... It's supposed to be 300% yeah. more effective yeah. than a normal dumbbell. Mm. In my book, that's a very good thing. We're going to be chatting about that a little bit later Got on. Got a hole. Look at it's that. In the wrist. It's a good... <laughs> there you go. And what you can all... Which is a bit unnerving, because if you look... <laughs> If you look in there, look, it's got a bit of a mirrored end on there. So you can so see yourself. You can see your own red face whilst yeah. you're doing it. <laughs> there we are. So Quite you'll see, of that, you'll see that and many others uh, a, a, a little bit. I bet you can't wait. A little bit later on. There you are. Right, to celebrate British Food Fortnight, we've got uh, Gino De Campo at the other side of the studio, oh. who was saying a moment ago that he's getting a bit of a hard time in his local pub after the, <laughs> the last time you were here. What do they call you? Buongiorno. They call me now the sheep man. Sheep man. <laughs> you know, every time I go to the pub, the sheep man, because of the sheep, sheep. Yes, and, you know. because if anyone who missed earlier on or indeed the other week, um, it, and it's an easy mistake to make, you know. It's, you I didn't know. It's a difficult I really language. Didn't know. I really didn't know. I don't know what you put an S at the end of every word. Cows, and a cow, lambs, a lamb, but it's only sheep. You only sheep. Sheeps. And also, yes. it's a same for fish. Fish is fish. So no fishes. Fish. It's just fish. Lots oh, of fish. No fishes. No fishes. Oh, so just I always say, look how many fishes. That's I've right, said isn't fishes it? in the past. See how confusing fish. is this Even language? I don't know. Uh, well, Carol Stewart from Falkirk said, I've tried Gino's Italian shepherd's pie recipe and can thoroughly recommend it. It's mm -hmm. lovely. I wish I was there, as I'm sure it will taste even better when Gino makes it. So glad this morning has Gino. He brightens up my mornings and I'm sure all the ladies ah, watching will agree. Ah, grazie. Ah, <laughs> grazie, grazie. <laughs> we need to make sure that... You burn the alcohol off. Brava, brava. That's Cook exactly... You need to evaporate the alcohol. It's very important. Bubble, I'm not going to use... <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not going to do that anymore. Don't do that again. <laughs> OK, so... Uh, I'm surprised you... they didn't mention that in the pub when you went down there. <laughs> it was mentioned, yes. Yeah. Well, uh, 